Lake is the only city in DeSoto County to allow fireworks, but leaders are now saying something has to change after people kept the 4th of July party going just a little too long, John. Yeah, I've been there, Aaron, having trouble sleeping at night because of it. And tonight, Horn Lake Alderman could consider banning residents from shooting off fireworks in the future in the city. Local 24's Jalen Sochek live for us from Horn Lake City Hall with a look ahead at tonight's meeting. Jalen. Yeah, John and Aaron, good morning. I spoke to Alderman Jackie Bosick, who told me late last week that fireworks going popping off long after the 4th of July is still a problem here in Horn Lake. He is calling on an ordinance change with fireworks, whether that's banning them outright or increasing enforcement around them. Well, Horn Lake's top fire chief, he agrees with the ban. Just way too many people shooting fireworks. Uh, it's not the fireworks that's dangerous. It's the way people that they shoot them. Those were the words of Horn Lake Fire Chief David Limbell, who says his department is responding to more fireworks related fires. Well, the last couple of years have been pretty tough. It seems to be so many more people doing their own fireworks now. This Horn Lake home caught fire on the 4th of July from fireworks. Linville says they've also responded to car fires, grass fires, and fires in trash cans caused by people not properly disposing of their fireworks. He says he supports an ordinance banning fireworks like all other cities in DeSoto County have already done. Because it's just too thickly populated. You can't shoot them in the subdivisions where you got houses grill next to each other. There's not big lots. They don't have big yards. So they just really don't have any safe place to shoot them. But Weeks later, people report fireworks are still an issue. Horn Lake police say since June, they've received at least 55 complaints related to fireworks. It's just no consideration of the people that live in that area as far as they're taking care of their own neighbors. There's no, I guess that's the biggest concern. I mean, you just don't go out in your front yard and shoot fireworks, let them fall on your neighbor's roof. Lynn Bell himself says while fireworks can be fun, the job has shown him it's becoming too dangerous. After you see so many people getting burned, kids getting hurt, fingers getting hurt, burnt, uh, blown off in their faces and burning them or hurting their eardrums and eyes and all that, they're just not safe. Now, the aldermen tonight will discuss this possible ordinance chain, uh, change. Alderman Bosick hopes that they can propose a solution that not only will address their concerns, but is one that the community here can approve of, too. John and Aaron. All right. Thank you, Jalen. I know not only a noise nuisance, but as I said, people are getting hurt out there. So we'll see what comes out of tonight's meeting. Thank you.